Hi, I'm Joni Petrie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about the full moon that happens September 10th and this full moon is going to be in Aquarius. Now, always remember I am talking about the sidereal Vedic chart, not the Western tropical. So we have a full moon in Aquarius at 23 degrees. And what's so interesting is whenever I see the moon coming together in Aquarius, and of course the sun is going to be in Leo, then this is a time when leadership comes under the microscope where all around the world we're going to be looking at what is going on in governments and in rulership because the sun represents the king and being in Leo is especially going to talk about leadership and kingship and Aquarius is about humanity and what a lot of people don't realize in astrology are the houses that deal with politics are houses 5 and 11. The 5th house is the ruler, the 11th house is the house of the public or the masses, the people. And you see, because the 5th house is relative to the 5th sign Leo and the 11th house is relative to the 11th sign Aquarius, these are the signs in the houses that deal with governmental affairs and politics. So this is what we're going to be looking at under the microscope during this month of September. And you know, there is a lot going on around the time, September 10th, of this beautiful full moon in Aquarius. And that is that Mars is in Taurus, actually forming a square to both the sun and the moon. So this is pressure, the pressure's on, things are evolving and things are happening in accordance to governmental affairs and politics. And there's pressure with Mars causing some uproar in a big square of things that are coming. So not only that, we have Mercury retrograde going on during this time. And this Mercury retrograde is a doozy where it's going to bring clarity of mind and awareness because Jupiter is opposing it and Jupiter's retrograde too. So both of those two planets in retrograde motion are bringing us back to uncover some secrets and things of the past concerning what? Governments around the world. And let's talk a little bit about this nakshatra that the moon is in. So we have the 27 nakshatras in Vedic astrology, and they are so descript with deep, profound meaning. The stars in that portion of the zodiac is what gives the nakshatras their qualities and their definitions, what they're all about. And so the moon is going to be in Aquarius 23 degrees, in Purva Bhadrapada. And this nakshatra is very cutting and to the point. And its symbol, I think is very profound, is a man with two faces. And it can mean very positive things as a man that can see into the future. And because of the past, makes honorable and good decisions. This is like a visionary. But there's the negative quality of this nakshatra that actually when you think of a man with two faces, you can think of somebody as being two-faced. And I've seen it work both ways. A visionary, but somebody that has two completely different personalities. Maybe their work personality and persona is completely different than what they project in their home life. But there's two different people in this nakshatra that look entirely different. And I think with everything going where clarity is coming from the Mercury and Jupiter retrograde glancing at each other, and Mars is giving a lot of fire here. There is a lot of things that have to be addressed this month because this new moon screams 
clarity, truth, get it out there. And anyone that has had two faces, anyone in politics or in your personal life are going to be revealed. That's it. And you know, I can't think of pro probably of any political leader that hadn't been two-faced at some point, but it's going to be a big fight right now. There's going to be the fights and the things are starting to get stirred up because what is a new moon? It is that things are so new. You can't see what's going to evolve out of it, but you definitely know where the seeds are planted and where it's all going to spring forth from the moon in Aquarius. And Aquarius is a sign of humanity and people all are waking up in this world to what the leaders have been up to and what the truths are. And they're pressuring them. It's going to happen. You're going to see all sorts of things coming out this month. And because of that, I've been saying this, it's going to enrage a lot of people, creating a lot of chaos and creating a lot of rebellions around the world. Things have got to be, the wrongs must be right. There's something that justice is going to prevail. And maybe not right away, but let me just say, everything's starting to come clear transparent they can they can say what they want but there's facts that back and support the truth and that's what we're going to be seeing and this is the countdown period saturn and uranus are getting closer and closer to their square which is going to be another form of havoc going on in the world but the moon purva bhadrapada just remember that a man with two faces and it's exactly opposite the sun, which sits in the nakshatra Purva Falguni. That nakshatra is the nakshatra that can deal with a lot of power. It's actually a very lucky nakshatra, but it is in Leo and it's extraordinarily creative and expressive. So another thing that will be coming out, I believe during this time, especially with, with Jupiter where it's located, it's gonna be a lot of movies and videos and documentaries made at this time that really project the truth, but they're highly creative to really help our world get back on track from all of the chaos and diversions that so many things have diverted us on. But you know, everything happens for a reason. And what is that reason? That we will see the light and grow spiritually. So everything is evolving, everything is happening, and it will always evolve to make the world a better place. So remember, this full moon is going to bring awareness to those that have been dishonest, two-faced, and furthermore, it's gonna help humanity and all of us, especially in our spiritual search and journey while we are all here on this beautiful planet Earth. So with that, I'd like to close. Now remember, if you would like my newsletter delivered free to your email, Go to galacticcenter.org and while you're there, check out my magazine, my brand new magazine, Joni Patrice Astrology Insights. It is an incredible magazine. For $9.99, you will get 100, 100 pages of information that helps you on your spiritual journey, learn more about astrology, and don't forget, my beautiful outer planet class is going to start on this full moon. Don't miss it. Go to my website and check out my weekend workshop, September 10th and 11th for the outer planets, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. You'll never look at those planets the same after this workshop. And that will probably spiral you into wanting to learn more and more about astrology. And so with that, check out my 
university website as well. So galacticcenter.org and universityofvedicastrology.com. Thank you.